Hi friends, welcome to another short video of the Spotters series, a quick, concise, high yield revision companion for your upcoming NEET exam. Now let us look at this particular CT scan image. If you look at it carefully, look at the left cerebral hemisphere, looks normal, grey white matter differentiation is very well seen. If you look at the right cerebral hemisphere, something is wrong there. What is this, right? You can see a uniformly hypodense, more or less triangular or a wedge shaped area, right? Involving the right side. It is involving both the gray and white matter. There is a loss of gray white matter differentiation. There is evidence of mass effect. See the right frontal horn of the lateral ventricle is not seen here. There is mass effect. There is midline shift. So what are you looking at? Well, this is nothing but an acute right sided middle cerebral artery territory infarct or ischemia right so this is a acute right mca territory infarct see how do we define the territories we've discussed this you just draw a line you know outwards from the frontal horn you draw a line outwards from the atria or the posterior horn this area that lies anterior to this horn is anterior cerebral artery territory this area that lies posterior to this particular line is the posterior cerebral artery territory and this area that lies in between is the middle cerebral artery. So if you see on the right side it lies in the middle cerebral artery territory. So this is an acute right middle cerebral artery territory in fact. Now acute stroke can be ischemic or hemorrhagic. You need to do an investigation very quickly to try and distinguish whether it is hemorrhage or ischemia because the management is going to be different. So that is why the first investigation to be done in acute stroke is usually a CT scan. The concept of doing a CT scan in acute stroke is to rule out hemorrhage. Remember, is to rule out hemorrhage. Now, once you have ruled out hemorrhage, as soon as you, there is a hemorrhage, you will be able to see it on CT scan. So you do a CT scan, you see hemorrhage, you diagnose hemorrhagic right stroke. But suppose you do a CT scan, right? There's no hemorrhage, there's ischemia. It takes about four to six hours for an infarct to become visible on CT scan. So what have you achieved by doing this CT scan? You have definitively ruled out hemorrhage. That is the concept of using CT scan as the first investigation in acute stroke. Now what remains is ischemia. It could either be a transient ischemic attack or it could be an acute infarct within the brain. So for this, you need to look at the brain parenchyma you need to use an investigation which will definitively tell you what whether there is an infarct or not and that is where the role of MRI comes in acute stroke imaging. So the definitive investigation remember is MRI. If they ask you about a specific sequence of MRI, it is going to be diffusion weighted imaging MRI. Why? Because this diffusion weighted imaging MRI can detect an acute infarct as the at the earliest so earliest diagnosis of infarct is possible on a diffusion weighted MRI as early as 15 to 30 minutes from onset so that is where, where is the utility of MRI now that you have diagnosed an infarct or there is an area of ischemia right you want to measure the blood flow at that affected area because you want to identify which is the dead infarcted area this is called as the umbra or the core but you are more interested in looking at the size of the penumbra where the brain parenchyma is not yet dead right it is ischemic so this is the potentially salvageable or this is the parenchyma that you can potentially save and here we need a specialized investigation or an additional investigation this is called as perfusion imaging so perfusion imaging can be either CT perfusion or MRI perfusion where perfusion means what? Perfusion means capillary level blood flow. So we can measure the actual blood flow at the level of the parenchyma. So this is what you need to know about stroke imaging. Let us quickly revise a lot of questions have been asked, will be asked on this particular topic. So what is the first investigation to be done in acute stroke? It is CT. It is done to rule out hemorrhage that is the dis that is the concept that we have discussed right earliest imaging modality to detect an acute infarct is diffusion weighted imaging mri this can detect an infarct as early as 15 to 30 minutes from onset 
and hence the overall best investigation or investigation of choice, choice for acute stroke is again diffusion weighted imaging MRI investigation of choice for penumbra identification what is penumbra it is the ischemic area which is not yet dead not irreversibly damaged so can potentially be saved by restoring the blood flow right so this can be identified by using perfusion weighted imaging it could either be CT or MRI perfusion investigation of choice for vascular imaging which artery is blocked you want to know so you can do a MR angiography which is more commonly done right or you can also do a CT angiography depending on the available right facilities MR angio it can be done without the injection of contrast so it is the one which is preferred so in the early stages that is the hyper acute stage of an infarct less than six hours the parenchymal right infarct might not yet be visible on CT scan but what you can see though is this right middle cerebral artery which is appearing hyperdense why is it appearing hyperdense right it is appearing hyperdense because there is a blood clot within it right and that clot has a density which is greater than that of you know normal blood and therefore you can see that the MCI is appearing bright this is what is called as the hyperdense middle cerebral artery sign so hyperdense MCA sign is one of the earliest signs which is seen on CT scan. Why is the middle cerebral artery hyperdense? Because there is a blood clot within it. Now in a different patient now if you look at this particular CT scan you can see on the right side you can see the caudate nucleus, lentiform nucleus, thalamus, insular cortex, grey white matter distinction is present on the right side. If you look at the left side over here in the same corresponding area there is no grey white matter distinction which is seen why because the brain parenchyma is getting affected so the distinction is lost the basal ganglia has sort of disappeared so this is what is called as the disappearing disappearing basal ganglia sign so this is called disappearing basal ganglia sign which becomes visible as you you know approach a time of around four to six hours on CT scan the classic appearance right so here if you look at the graphics on this particular image right you are able to see the caudate nucleus right thalamus lentiform nucleus insular cortex but they are not seen on the left side this is what is called as the disappearing basal ganglia sign the classic appearance though right now if you what is the earliest modality to detect an acute infarct you know, in acute stroke imaging we have discussed it is diffusion weighted imaging so if you see an area in the brain which appears bright or hyper intense on diffusion and the same corresponding area appears dark on an ADC map right then together this finding is called as restricted diffusion this is called restricted diffusion right and restricted diffusion with a classic history of hemiplegia hemiparesis will give you a diagnosis of a acute ischemic infarct right so this is diffusion weighted imaging it can detect an infarct as early as 15 to 30 minutes from onset right bright on diffusion dark on an ADC map image this is called restricted diffusion suggestive of acute infarct again see this is a right middle cerebral artery territory infarct we have discussed the vascular territories at the start of this video all right so this is a right MCA territory infarct this is again a right MCA territory in fact classic appearance on CT scan in the acute phase wedge shaped area triangular area diffuse hypo density look at the affected area here it is more or less triangular diffusely hypo dense it is appearing dark because the brain parenchyma is edematous it is involving grey matter and white matter there is a loss of distinction between them and there is evidence of mass effect so the ventricular horn is compressed there is midline shift to the opposite side so this is the classic appearance of an acute ischemic infarct on CT scan right another small variation right of an infarct which your examiner could ask you is uh, typically pure motor stroke see left hemiparesis without any cortical signs such as aphasia agnosia why because there is a very small round lacuna shaped infarct especially in the region of the basal ganglia or pons right look at this DWI image and look at the ADC to quickly revise what we have just seen do you remember I told you if a particular area this is a different patient from the CT scan right but if an area appears bright on DWI and the same area appears dark on ADC it is called as what 
it is called as restricted diffusion and this restricted diffusion with this history of hemiparesis is going to tell me that there is a acute infarct but what does this infarct look like so this infarct looks like a small round lacuna so it is given a name what name is it given this is what is called as a lacunar infarct right so why because the vascular territory of the artery which is supplying the thalamus say thalamo perforating artery lenticulostriate artery one artery is going to supply a small round area of the brain parenchyma so if that one artery is blocked clogged right that small round area of the brain parenchyma is going to be affected and that is the reason why you see a lacuna round oval shaped infarct this is what is called as a lacunar infarct so this is a extremely high yield concise revision of acute stroke ischemic stroke that we have done remember friends doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will this is not the time to doubt your preparation this is the time to give it all that you have got right make the maximum effort push yourself harder harder and hardest as much as you can do and then go into the exam and give your best shot i believe in you that you will be able to crack this exam very well let us get this done together all the best uh...